is Thursday morning. Overcast, kind of gray skies. I bet you're laying in bed right now with a nice warm blanket and a book. And we're working this morning. Hey, and speaking of work, do you like your job? Here's a question for you. Is it causing your body stress? Forbes magazine says most of us don't like our jobs and our jobs create health problems. Joining us this morning, husband and wife team, Dr. Mark or I should say Dr. Kim, <laughs> as they turn the camera on, Dr. Kim Duramo and Mario Torres Leon to help us understand what our bodies are telling us. Uh, I was sitting with you on a break a minute ago and we were talking about this because here on the morning show we all love what we do. We love what we do but our concentration after we leave here is about getting sleep and we've got to get to bed and we've got to get our sleep and you're saying that you know what if you love what you do that's good but quit focusing on the negative once you get out of here and your body will change. That's right. Sort Absolutely. of right, right? Yes, oh. there's so much to this and there's a lot of science to this. And what we've seen is patients coming to us with overweight, autoimmune disease, di you know, diabetes, cancer even, and things like di depression and anxiety that are chronic. And we find that there's so many things we can do medically, but that the greater majority of what's happening is in their life and in their lifestyle. Something we do every day. Our job can actually be making us sick in a way that the medical community doesn't have the answers that, of, compared to what you can do for yourself. So is this the part where a lot of people come to you guys and say, maybe there's a medication I should be taking for this. But, you know, maybe not. It's Maybe it's all up here and be able to change your mindset. And, and the fact of the matter is that many people, they're thinking, I'm feeling X or Y, I have to get some medications. But we do not go into the root cause. What is it that is actually causing this? And even something as stressful as going on the highway to go to that job that you don't want to be can completely be manifesting as symptoms. And we've just seen, seen this all the time. Okay, yes. so the idea is what you guys teach is, as we were talking about a minute ago, just kind of your mindset and be able to change the way you're thinking about your job. Okay, three great points that you guys have to listen to our bodies is getting clear and understand what's important. You want to tackle that one? Yes, Absolutely. well, this one patient we had with autoimmune illness had seen several different specialists put, being put on several medications, and through working with us, we actually got her clear on what is most important in her life. And it turned out spending time with her kids was so important and she was missing that. So her system was suffering. She was super stressed from what she was doing because she had a long commute and long hours. And it was really deteriorating her health. But if you get clear on what's most important to you, what feeds you, what nurtures you, what you love in your life, and you put that into your life every day in some even small way, it actually rejuvenates you and changes your chemistry in a way that can save your health. I love your passion. I can tell you're what? passionate about this. You know, you're talking. It, it, because, right, I mean, the way you think and the way, you know, like you were saying a minute ago, that the possibility down the road, if you change this toxicity in your body, you can change that, right? The way Absolutely. things, are, your thoughts are toxic. It makes all the difference from getting you off of five antidepressant medications or off of, she got off of all of her autoimmune illness related medications because it's a stressful, toxic, inflammatory response that's going on in the body that you can actually make changes to release completely. I love it. Okay, let's go to number two. Don't compromise yourself. You want to take that one? This is something that is, happens all the time. People say, I have to do this, I have to do that, but they're not really putting into their lives what is the, what we call the big rocks. What is it that is really important for me in doing X or Y? And when we do that, our bodies are listening. So when we compromise, we're not putting ourselves first, and that's when people start to get anxious, they get depressed, they get diabetic because their stress hormones are going up and up and up and up. So they're not really living in that joy because they're not putting what's most important to them in the forefront of their lives. Okay, and then create possibilities is the third one. Yeah, your mind is an extremely powerful force and the things you pay attention to and actually believe will drive what you perceive, how you perform, and everything you do in your life. So if you have the understanding, well, there's no other good jobs out there, I have to do this. Or, hey, I have to make money, so I have to work my butt off, and this is just how life is. When you have those beliefs, it changes everything about not only what you perceive, you know, opportunities can present themselves to you and you wouldn't even see them, but how you perform in your job that would compel your boss to say, hey, you're awesome, you deserve a raise, or say, you know, you're really not worth so much to me, so let's keep you here, and have a change in your outcome. So when you actually create resources, for example, in your outlook, changing your belief systems, life is on my side, and I'm going to nurture and honor what's important to me, and that's going to create possibilities in my life. It actually changes 
everything that you experience because it changes your hardwiring neurologically. We've trained people to do this and have had extraordinary changes. Yeah, we're talking about the training. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. This is really amazing, Brad, because our thoughts are chemical processes and they are talking to every single cell in our body. So what we're saying is that when we start to create those possibilities, our thinking will be sending those messages and the experience of health and vitality just goes whoo right through the roof. How do you tell somebody that maybe doesn't have the mindset to be able to change that, who's complacent, maybe thinks, ah, I can't do it. You the know, best thing to do is to focus on what is important to them and what they really want. What's important and why are you even doing this job? Well, I want to make money because of my family. So maybe their family is a really important thing. I want to provide for them. I want to be a success. I want to have time. I love my children. What are they most passionate about? Because that's going to immediately increase your endorphins, increase your oxytocin, decrease your perception of pain and actually reverse the toxic process that underlies cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and overweight. And it's really amazing because when we see this, we're seeing it in MRIs, we're seeing it in nuclear medicine, the brain is lining up, it's active when we're living from that place of passion and creating the possibilities that we want. Everything in your body, neurologically, is just getting activated. It's unbelievable and there's so much evidence behind it. So. It's great news for everybody and out there. When you turn someone in and inspire them, you don't have to start doing therapy to help them figure out what's good for them and what they should eat. An inspired person is going to do those things naturally. Well, so just by talking to you two, I'm inspired this morning because I was talking to Raul a minute ago. I'm saying, listen to these two over here. They're so passionate about what they're doing. And I said, how can we be inspired? Because we got to get up so early in the morning. And then we got to get home. we got to take care of the kids. Then we got to find time to nap. Just change it up a That's little bit. Right. Up here, folks. This is, this is an example right there. Changing the neurology. Just look at yourself smiling. Yeah, so I love well, it. Thanks, you guys. Now. <laughs> Thanks for the passion. Thanks for the energy this morning. Appreciate you guys coming Great on. Well, we're going to toss it back over to you. I'll have what they're having. Yes. <laughs> A double <laughs> shot. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, still ahead here on Fox 5.